Katie Allman reporting for TTN HD Production Live here at Rain Dance Toronto with Denis Chouinard. What inspired you to become a sync technician? Well, my goal was uh, to be a writer director, but um, I happened to fall into post production after uh, after I graduated, and I never looked back. Is it something that you've been enjoying so far? So far, yeah, yeah. There's nothing uh, more important to the filmmaking product, like uh, the process of filmmaking than, than post-production because you get to have the, the last say and you get to uh, see all the footage once it's in the can and then you can learn from the mistakes, right? You can see the mistakes that filmmakers make when they're on set and then if I do make a film someday I will have uh, better knowledge on uh, what I want and how to make it easier. What are the most common mistakes that filmmakers make on set that you have to then fix in post-production? Um, well, the the, the only main issue that I seem to be having lately is um, some directors tend to shoot a little too much. Mm. So it's, it's good if a director, a director has a specific vision and uh, he goes for what he wants and he's well planned and then he doesn't sh shoot an abundance of footage. So are you doing everything in the process from editing to color correction to sound correction or what, what does your job in, entail? Um, well, my job entails like uh, basically I get the footage at the end of the at the end of the night, and then I get uh, I get a project from the the, the DMT on set who does a, a one light uh, color correction. So then I just uh, I QC his work, and then I process it out, sync it up, and then I create bins for uh, for the editor in Los Angeles, and then we turn around the footage so that the next day when the editor sits down in the chair, he's got all his footage ready to go. What's what been the most exciting part of your career so far? Uh, it's been uh, just the people I've worked with and the people I've got to cross paths with. Like, um, I worked at the same post suite as David Cronenberg, so I got to see him kicking around, Adam O'Goyan, and the guy who directed City of God. He, uh, he did blindness here a few years ago, so I got to meet him and his editor, and they were really nice people and uh, I did covert affairs last spring and they sent me to Europe so I was in Europe for 10 days so I did three countries in, in 10 days so that was pretty exciting it was a lot of hard work but it was really cool and I got to hang out with the stars and I met uh, Piper Parabo who was really really sweet really sweet lady and uh, that was really awesome and uh, the, the the big feather in my cap that I'm probably most proud of was working with uh, Sydney Fury who is uh, great director like he's directed for like several generations you could say like he directed uh, Lady Sings the Blues which was nominated for five Academy Awards in 1972 and he also directed Iron Eagle The Entity just like tons of movies and the dude was just like so down to earth and just like treated me like a, a son and like took me out for one-on-one -on -one dinners and stuff and just I would just milk him like about stories about the business and it was just great to see like a 70 something year old man who still loved making films and just he he knew good people and it was just awesome that he accepted me into his circle and whenever he makes movies he calls me up and I'm I'm able so I think at the end of this at the end of the summer he's shooting another film and he called me a couple weeks ago and said hey do you want it and I was like anytime any rate kind of thing just because he's such a huge influence Canadian filmmaker and how do you enjoy working on suits suits is great mm. yeah I did the first season and uh, and I, I actually asked if I could work on the second season again because they they asked me what show do you want to do and I said well I'll, I'll do suits again Great. what are your goals for the future my goals for the future well I wouldn't mind uh, like I'm probably gonna stay in post for a bit because I'm fairly new to the industry I've only been working in the industry for six years so I just want to uh, continue to improve and just learn as much as I can so when it comes down for when I make my first film that I'm well prepared. Do you have any idea what kind of film you are looking to make? What genre? I, I love all genres. Like I, I, I'm a huge movie buff. Like My collection at home is pretty huge. I've got like thousands of movies so it's kind of embarrassing but people are like, oh my god, look at all the movies you have. <laughs> but uh, it kind of prepared me for... Uh, for where I am because I've always been a big movie guy and I've always followed directors and stuff and for, sorry what was that question <laughs> I just rambled on there <laughs> um what your first film would be about what oh. genre um it would probably be something like dark because I like like 
dark humor and um, like I, I love movies like Scarface and anything that Martin Scorsese puts out like anything that kind of pushes buttons emotionally so that people leave the movie and they're thinking like oh my god I can't believe they did that or whatever you know like I like to shock people but also tell a good story so that they leave and they're talking about it the next day what advice would you give to someone who's getting into the business um I would say work hard and don't lose your integrity like always make sure to uh, to give everybody the same respect as you would anybody like I would treat a PA the same way as I would treat a producer you know because you never know where that PA is going to be. Plus, usually the PAs are a lot more grounded and they're usually bigger film buffs than a producer is, in well, most cases. But, um, but yeah, I'd say treat everybody equally, work hard, and um, just continue to want to better yourself. And where's the best place to find out more information on you and what you do online? Um, well, you can check out my IMDb page. It's uh, Denise Wanard at IMDb and you'll see uh, I've got a bunch of assistant editor credits and mostly, mostly post-production. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Denis, and congratulations on all of your successes and best of luck with your upcoming projects. Cool. Thank you very much. Thanks yeah. for having me. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for TTNHD Production Live here at Raindance Toronto.